Some are calling it voter fraud in Indiana after the Secretary of State confirmed thousands of birthdays were changed in validating voter registration, meaning those people may not be able to vote in November. And here in Tucson, Not In Your Side's Jennifer Martinez spoke to the Pima County Recorder's Office to find out what exactly is being done to make sure voter fraud does not happen here. Nearly 9,300 people died in Pima County just last year. Many of them registered voters set to cast their vote this November. So how can we be sure that people who have died do not cast a vote? F. Ann Rodriguez with the Pima County Recorder's Office tells me there are multiple ways her office is notified, including by the Pima County Health Department. There's also paid obituaries that give us enough information. People will do that one. Voters have given us copies of their death certificates of their other late spouses. So we get all those things. And while many spouses report the death, some could cast an invalid vote. But this is where Rodriguez insists signatures come into play. And if we question the signature, we're going to be calling them because the one thing my staff will always says is my policy. If we're questioning the signature, we must speak to the voter. We have to actually speak to the voter. Here in Pima County, nearly 80% of people send in early ballots, and some people forget, winding up with two votes for one person. Because the poll worker will have the information that um, that person has been issued an early ballot. The poll worker has no idea if, the, if that voter has returned their ballot to us, and that's why they're given the provisional ballot. But once those ballots go in for the count, it will be flagged as having an early ballot already submitted and under federal law anyone attempting voter fraud can face up to five years in prison and ten thousand dollars in fines for each act of fraud back to you